Hey guys, one clue here. I hope all of you are doing really well and having a really good day. In today's video, I do have something special for you. As you do see, we have a bit of X here to the left and some contraction here to the right. So uh, this here is an interesting board that I want to show you today. This is the so-called BitHalo. As you can see, it's from the Solo Mining Co. And it is invented by IMGPIO. This right here is the first of a kind accessory for the BitX. It is a PCB that you can attach to your BitX. And whenever your BitX finds a share, these LEDs around here, they do light up. And depending on how you program it, it lights up in different colors. This right here, out of the box, comes with the PCB with its LED ring, a 3D printed light diffuser to diffuse the light, as well as two stents and four screws to screw in this with the BitX. So let's see how this works and let's yeah, put this together. But first, let's take a look on the bottom side. We do have a on off switch here on top. Whenever you do think, okay, this is a little bit annoying or anything else, or maybe during the nighttime, you don't want to have this blinking next to you while you're trying to sleep. But there, even, even for this circumstance is something in the making. So yeah, let's see how this, how this works is pretty simple. You do see there are these pins and they are so-called pogo pins because they are spring loaded and they do attach to the bottom side of the bit X and read out the serial that is going over the bit X. So it just reads the serial commands that are going from the ESP to the chip and the other way around. And whenever the ESP is producing a valid share and sending this to the pool, it lights up this board. It's pretty simple. The amount of power this device uses is close to nothing. And that's the beauty about it. It won't increase your power bill. All right, so let's, let's try to put this together. So as I said, this diffuser, it goes on top here. And then what you need to do is you need to put it on the backside of your bit X. And let's quickly go over these TPs that you do see here. These are the so-called test pins. And these are used with these power pins in order to read out the serial commands that are going over this device. As you can see, when I try to put this on there, you do see it will attach to this one TP over there, it's called TP18 on this specific board. So ah, probably a good idea to go over this. This board right here supports from the version 201 to 223 to 204. So it, it supports these three different versions. For the newest version, the 205, it will probably require another PCB layout, but I'm sure there's already something in the making. So you can expect more about this on his shop. And by the way, speaking about this, check out the video description down below. You will find a link to his online shop and use the, the coupon code one clue to save 10% on your next purchase over there. All right, so let's try to attach this and put this together. It's fairly simple. You just put it on the back side and try to align it as good as possible put in a couple of these screws here so that we do have a fixed point. And then let's use the first stand. And let's try, let me, let me try this. This might be probably not good visible to you, but I try my best. So let me screw this in a little bit already. So that the board is there aligned with it. Now let me put on the stand on the back and I'm still pressing it together. So as you see, it's fairly simple. You just need a screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and you just screw it in. Let me grab another screw and do the same on the bottom side of it. And as soon as I'm done with it, we can take a look on how the lighting effect looks like. All right, so first side done. Let's grab the other one. And as you do see, it's fairly simple and shouldn't take that long. It doesn't require much force or anything else. It's, it's simply just screwing in and it aligns perfectly with these pins on the backside. All right, and there you go. Basically, this is now done. And what we can do now is we can plug this in. And gladly, I do have a plug here with me. So let's plug this in and let's see how it looks. 
I do hope that you can see this. This is the initial lighting effect. Whenever this device boots up, it will automatically flash in this uh, purple-ish color. And as soon as the BitX finds its first chair, and there you go, as soon as it finds its first chair, it goes up and flashes in orange. And we do have a little bit of hash rate on this. And yeah, speaking about the BitX Halo, this is the first accessory for the BitX, and you can definitely imagine more iterations of it in the future. I do think it, loves, it looks lovely, and I hope you do like this content, because I try my best in publishing content about everything around this open source ethos and the open source miners united community. And speaking about this, before I end the video, I want to share with you the links for this bit halo in the video description down below so that you can take a look on it because obviously this PCB accessory for the bit eggs is open source designed and published. So take a look on it. Do something. Tinker. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.